that sort of thing, I, I thought, okay, what I need a tune. So I, I looked up what, what every tag was based on and then looked up the iconic, you know, what, what they advertised on the brochures as, what type of wheels and colours and things like that, and then kind of re replicate them as much as close as possible to, you know, the iconic models of that car. I kind of do the same thing, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, it's, the garage is really not much more interesting <laughs> doing that since I've been doing it. And then I used to have like all my supercars in one garage or a couple of garages and then all the sports and sports classics and you know together and all the sports is together and all that sort of thing. Um, and then I thought, no, it's a bit boring too, because when you, and then when you, when you could buy, I think the first one where you could have a garage, a workshop in it, I think that was the, the um, so the, the office where you could you have the system a garage and a workshop in there as well. And then I thought, well, the most sensible thing, which would kind of mix it up a bit, would be to put all the most customizable vehicles in that garage.